Okay, we're going to be making our butter, chickpea and pumpkin curry. So into a saucepan we're popping our coconut oil and into that we're popping our shallots, which I'm using onions, ginger, chilli and garlic. Alright, we want to get a nice lot of heat going through that. Alright, once we're getting the aromat coming through, we're going to add in our mustard, our turmeric, and our curry, and our coriander. Alright, so we want to start releasing all these flavours. Alright, this will go very quickly and then into that we're adding our coconut. And our tomato puree. need to bring that up to the boil. Alright, so the smell, the aromas coming out now are very, very powerful. We've got the ginger, the garlic, the chilli. Uh, we're just going to bring that up to the boil and then we're going to pop in our chickpeas and pumpkin and allow that to simmer away for about 45 minutes. Just coming up to the simmer now. I'm going to pop these in. Give them a quick mix around. Okay. Simple as that. We cover it over. We reduce the heat. And we'll return in about 30 minutes and have a look. If the liquid is starting to evaporate, we can add a little bit of water. All right, to make sure that it's not um, sticking to the bottom or evaporated too much. Um, once everything's soft and the flavors have been released, uh, we can serve that up with our selection of, uh, or choice of rice. Today I'm choosing to serve it with a duo of rice, brown and uh, white long grain. All right, we'll come back shortly and have a look.